Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sheldine and today's video is going to be all about the question I get asked all the time, pretty much with every single video that I put up, and that is, what solvent do you use? Or I also get questions like, why are you putting a paintbrush on your paper? Are you using watercolor pencils? Are you using water on the brush? Um, how do you get it to look so pigmented and how do you get the texture of the paper to go away the minute you put whatever is on the brush on the paper what is it how do you use it and where can I get it so I mainly use oil and wax based color pencils so my two main pencil supplies are my Prismacolor Premier pencils and my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils are oil based pencils and the Prismacolor are wax based pencils I love using these two mediums together. Now because they are oil and wax based pencils, they need a solvent to be able to blend them. Water will do nothing. Water just sits on top of it. It doesn't do anything to it. So it's much like um, mixing oil and water. The two just don't mix. So that's why you need solvent. So solvent, if you want to understand what solvent actually is, it's it's sort of like a paint thinner but you don't want to use paint thinner while you're sitting in sitting in a studio because it's toxic and the smell is just it, it's very very bad you shouldn't be exposed to that kind of toxic smell in a room so the that's what a solvent is so if you're gonna to go to your local art store in any country and you want to know you ask them for solvent you are asking for something that you pretty much wash your oil paint brushes with so that's that's how everyone else would understand what solvent is. I've had two people in Germany say that they've asked for solvents and they at an art shop and they're like I don't know what that is so um, it's it's a paint thinner but try and get something that is not toxic it doesn't have a toxic smell it is still poisonous you're not gonna drink it but at least it's not gonna fume up the entire room so my favorite brand um, in Australia is Art Spectrum Odorless Solvent. So the last time I tried to order this solvent from my supplier, I got sent an alternative in the mail instead. So I got sent the archival oils, um, the one liter, and it is odorless and yeah, the brand says archival oils. If I didn't know that this was a different solvent because of the label, I wouldn't have known that it was a different solvent to Art Spectrum. So I think it's exactly the same thing. It doesn't have an odor and it doesn't, and it works exactly the same. It feels exactly like the Art Spectrum odorless solvent. So I can't complain at all. It still does the job and I'm very, very happy with this. So this is called Archival Oils, the healthier alternative, and it's an odorless solvent. Um, so the other brands that you can get in Australia easily is the Art Spectrum Odorless Solvent. They come in smaller bottles and this tiny amount over here is what I've used this entire year. So we're already in the beginning of August and I've only used that tiny, tiny amount. So you really don't need a big bottle. You can get a tiny, tiny bottle if you want because you're not going to get through it very quickly because you never need to use a large amount of this stuff. So other brands that you can get, if you cannot get the archival oils or the Art Spectrum Odorless Solvent, um, I know in the US, according to Lisa Clough from La Cree Fine Art, she loves using the Mona Lisa Odorless um, Solvent. So you can use that or you can use Gamsol or Zested. I haven't tried any of these myself because it's not that easy for me to get my hands on those products. Um, like it is to get this. So I'd say whatever you can get your hands on, I don't think any of them are expensive. Um, give it a go and see if it's working for you. I'm going to put a link up here to a video I posted on, pay on YouTube before of the difference between putting solvent on like a before and after. So it's a video of a giraffe muzzle that I did and you can see the difference it makes so, so it pretty much takes the crayon look away immediately and it brings the pigments of the colors right out so it looks very very smooth and the color looks very bright and you can't see the texture of the paper at all so I love using solvent the other advantage about using solvents is that it allows you to layer more and more pencil layers over your drawing um, if you use burnishing or techniques like that you are limited to the amount of colors and layers that you are able to put on your paper so using solvent is a really really easy way 
to keep putting on those layers without worrying about trying to put texture back into your paper. So that is the solvent that I used and I've mentioned a few others. If you can't get this brand, get Gamsol, Zested or Mona Lisa odorless solvent. So I hope this video was useful to you guys and now you know what solvent is and how I use it and why it's something that um, I love using and whenever you see me using a brush on my paper you know that it's been dipped in solvents to blend it and to get that pigment and that smooth look out of there or on there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!